Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV video. In this video, we will look into laminar flow systems in operation theaters. So where did it all begin? Laminar flow ventilation systems were pioneered by Sir John Charnley in the 1960s and 70s, resulting, when used in conjunction with other strategies to reduce sepsis, in a reported marked decline in post-operative wound infection. The practice became widely adopted in orthopedic theaters after a series of trials that showed a significant decrease in infections from laminar flow theaters. However, in this study it was not possible to discern whether the reduction in post-operative infection was due to the type of air circulation used or prophylactic antibiotics which also had been recently introduced. So why is laminar flow used in operation theaters? Laminar flow theaters aim to reduce the number of infective organisms in the theater air by generating a continuous flow of bacteria-free air. In laminar flow theaters, air may be changed in theater more than 300 times per hour compared to standard positive pressure theater rates of 15 to 25 times per hour. Laminar flow systems are also capable of generation levels of colony-forming units in the atmosphere below 10 colony-forming units CFU, per cubic meter of air. The number of particles in the theater air is also lower than in turbulent systems. So how does laminar flow work in an operation theater? A laminar airflow unit works by the use of inflow laminar air drawn through one or more HEPA filters designed to create a particle-free working environment and provide product protection. Air is taken through a filtration system and then exhausted across the work surface as part of the laminar flow process. Commonly, the filtration system comprises a pre-filter and a HEPA filter. First, the air goes through the pre-filter or panel filter. Next, the fan blows the air toward the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter captures the dust, bacteria, and airborne particles. Therefore, the HEPA filtered air is clean and particle free. Types of laminar flow. Laminar flow systems operate either by a horizontal or vertical system. In horizontal laminar flow systems, high efficiency particulate air filters are installed on the totality or part of one of these operating theater walls. Such a system is easier to install, especially in existing theaters, but requires correct positioning of the operating team in order to be effective. The vertical configuration involves ceiling mounted HEPA filters, which direct air vertically downwards into the operative field. Individuals at the periphery of the airflow may prove disruptive, but it is less dependent on scrub team positioning. Entrainment of flow can, however, occur from theater personnel moving with the periphery of the laminar flow area, deflecting contamination inwards towards the operative site. Both systems can be used with exhaust units, also known as spacesuits, to further improve air quality, but a discussion of their effectiveness is beyond the scope of this review. Either system works to create a unidirectional flow of air free of eddies and turbulence. What are the components of laminar flow? The major components of laminar flow are the outside tank, inside tank, fan, return air inlet, panel filter, polyester screen, differential pressure gauges, gel HEPA, and diffuser lamp. This was the simplified video on laminar flow used in operation theaters. If you liked the information, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.